Our last few days in Sicily are spent repairing the water maker, repairing the engine, saying goodbye to our dear friend and provisioning for our trip to Greece. Hope you enjoy. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? This is Cordelia, our Venus Ketch. This is Steve. We'll be on the road. I'm Annette and this is the cutest Light member of our crew, Gus. Our dream was 10 years in the planning. In the end, you only ever regret the chances you didn't take. So get out there and start living. Oh, I can't explain how I'm feeling right at this moment. And one of the things that I wanted to see coming through the Messina Straits is this. And I know you're not going to get a clear view. Steve's going to take some photographs. I know you're not going to be able to see it probably, but it's a boat that catches swordfish. Oh, this is amazing. I wish I was on that boat. I couldn't go up that mast bit. So it looks like there's two guys in the top. Oh, it looks actually like there's three guys in the top. And they've got this kind of long bit that comes out the front. in Naxos and uh, we've come down quite a bit further in Naxos along the bay than we've been before because we've been here a couple of times and it's very strange here well not strange it's a nonsense thing um, but it's a holiday resort obviously because there are a lot of people on the beach and there's a lot of jet skis that are going past and things like that so it does say that in, yeah, in Napoli it says that, but um, yeah, we've got a bit of a blow coming through, according to Wendy, so we're just waiting for that to go through, and then tomorrow morning we will set off, I think, for Syracuse, yeah? There is a lot of people just parked up here. Oh, they are anchored as well. Isn't it lovely though? Do this for the afternoon with your friends. Oh yeah. And knowing that it's going to be nice. Sorry? Knowing that it's going to be nice. That's yeah. It's like, you go out the weekend, it's not like, oh, yeah, well, it's nice on Tuesday, it's nice on Wednesday, it's nice on Thursday, Friday, turn a bit. Sicily is almost over. We're back in Syracuse Bay waiting for our second Covid test and after that we're off to Greece. Oh, one just jumped right out of the water then. I missed it. I know you can't see this but like right up here in the river, all the time, right up there in the river, they jump out of the fish, jump out of the water, and then they and they normally oh there goes one there. They normally go kind of two, three, four times. You don't realise how time flies. We've been in Sicily now for nine months. 
six and a bit months were spent in the marina obviously over the winter period and then we found out that in order to be able to sail around the uh, Mediterranean and get back home to the UK we were going to need our Covid jabs hence why we're in Syracuse We can't thank the Sicilian or Italian government enough. They welcomed anybody that was living there from abroad and offered them the COVID vaccination free of charge. We weren't particularly worried about which jab we had, but we both ended up having the Pfizer jab with a five week gap in between the first and second jabs. We can't say it's going to be easy sailing around the Med now with Brexit as well as the uh, Covid situation still rife in a lot of countries it does mean that we are going to have to watch everywhere that we go there's check-in procedure now in each of the countries for us uh, because of Schengen and us being out of Europe and then on top of that each country tends to have its own stipulations regarding uh, vaccinations we're still not 100% sure what we're going to be doing for the rest of the year but what we do know is as soon as we leave Sicily we'll be heading for Greece. As we said before we've got nothing to complain about, we are living a fabulous life. We just wish that we could share it with our family and miss them very much. I know some of you will know that we had a like a trombola type washing machine but I gave that away I just we recently purchased this this is our first time that we've used it takes three kilos of washing um, which is great and uh, yeah it's like a top loader and you put it in the top and it's just a 15 minute 15 minute um, wash and it will spin as well it's going off the inverter and it's actually going off of the inverter so which is brilliant news So it's not drawing very much, is it? No. Yeah, so it has a, uh, a, a 15 minute cycle. And then it will rinse as well. It Well, it rinses and spins. So. Yeah. It doesn't rinse, does it? But it will rinse, we just need to put in more water. We'll drain it and then put in water and then we can rinse it. So that was quite successful actually. Uh, the cycle was certainly enough. And, oh. and what you do is you, you drain it of the water that you've washed in and then just fill it again and um, rinse it. You can spin in it as well. I don't bother to do that. I'll just wring it out when I get outside to yeah it's called an Adler yeah and I'm gonna say the thing that everybody else says we're not sponsored by them <laughs> sponsored what a joke got too hot in Syracuse Bay um not complaining about the heat but we couldn't go so in so we've come up to Augusta and uh, I've been in and it is not cold. Go on then, Steve. Uh, uh, I'm a little scared. You're a little scared yeah. Even Gus is down there. Waiting. Yeah. That's what I said, that bit is cold. Good boy, Gus. Good boy. 
Good boy! Well done, Gus! Well done! He's a good boy! We've been extremely lucky in Syracuse uh, in having friends, Matt and Anna. Anna is actually Sicilian and her parents live in Syracuse. So we've actually been able to have some things ordered and delivered to Anna's mum's house, including our water maker or the return of it. <laughs> Matt and Anna started this journey with us way back in Camerette in France. Travelled all the way down to La Coruña and then had to go back to work. But they've been to the UK to see us and now we've come to Sicily to see them. This is our final night in Sicily. We'd like to thank Anna and Matt for everything that they've done for us and our parents as well. And join us next time when we have a fantastic sail across to Greece, to Corfu in Greece. And we start showing you all around the anchorages in Greece. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Sorry, it's only a bit short and I know Steve's going to go mad because I've said sorry. Uh, anyway, see you in a couple of weeks. By the way, if you want to support us, you can either do it via Patreon or Coffee. Both links are below. Ciao!